Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. No mods, no DLC. I'm loving our little vanilla town over here. Everything is lovely. Uh, I did go and bring down some of the uh, construction bills for things. Um, the uh, butcher's table, I did put a limit on cable. Even if five, uh, it, it, a thousand kibbles, probably too much. I do want a lot for our road trips, but I'll bring that total down. I did actually put a limiter on the fine meals, although really mostly it's just to not have our people overwork themselves but i mean ultimately all of the meat has to be turned in all the food has to be turned into uh meals anyway so they got that the stone crafting as well i love having huge amounts of stone blocks around to be able to quickly put up a new project but i really should limit how much around because it is sinking a lot of time for our people and technically generating more wealth which puts us at a bit more of a risk so limiting some of those uh numbers a wee bit just to try to get the other production going we can maybe get some art going uh some of these fields as well i did disable the uh sewing uh right here for example because i think we're we're, we're generating much more food than we currently need so i think i disabled sewing on this potato field and this corn field i'm leaving this little bit of rice over here and then we still have the corn field over here i think i disabled sewing in this big cotton field over here as well we still have this one which has some rich terrain on it so it should generate cotton pretty quick i'm happy that we got the extras just to get things kick started um, because we had kind of a backlog of clothing jobs we'd like, but we don't need this much cotton that regular. This is going to be a huge amount. And we're still generating a massive amount of drugs as well, but hopefully we can keep making some decent cash from that. Although, yeah, I'm a little bit worried about our stockpiles. We do have a lot of silver right now, so... I mean, we're closing in on 100k wealth. Now, there, there's no specific breakpoints for wealth. There's no magic thing, as far as I know, that happens at any particular number, but... More is more dangerous. Oh, yeah, all the steel isn't in our stockpile, but we do have a lot of steel around. And again, it's one of those things where I really like to be able to do a bunch of construction. Like, you know, when I want a project, I want all the material to be available for it as quickly as possible. But maybe it's a little silly. I don't know. I guess I was leaving these beds being made for now. Are they all good? Ooh, and excellent. What's the rest modifier in excellent? 9-3, because I think it's 8-7 for good. 8-4, and it's 0.75 for a normal bed. Um, we don't need this many hospital beds. I'll, I could probably just move them over here. Oh, advanced fabrication. Okay. So, as, you know, maybe it's the wrong thing to prioritize early. But I, I feel so much better if I don't actually have to worry about, um, like, running out of components and getting stuck all of a sudden. So, with uh, fabrication and advanced fabrication, we will be able to generate our fancier components at our fancier uh, fabrication table, which is in place over here. We've got a bill for components 20. I'll put an advanced component thing over here. Um, I don't know in vanilla what uses the most number of advanced components. Um, I'm going to put a bill right now for four. There might be something that needs eight. But I want to keep a few advanced components around uh, because there is going to be a little bit. There might not be anything right now, but there will definitely be some stuff that uses um, advanced components in the not too distant future. Carpets are pretty. We could do beer. I mean, we switch over some of our crops and some other busy work. It is a way to keep people happy. We do psychoid tea, which isn't too bad. We don't need tree sowing or cocoa. We don't need the bows. I don't think we need hydroponics. We've got lots of good growing terrain. I mean, we might, might want to set up some new source of recreation with the television. That's a possibility. We could also consider having prosthetics ready, already researched before someone loses any body parts. I'm kind of tempted to pick up the hospital bed. Where do we go? It's kind of crazy. Do we go straight to recon armor? And here, it doesn't actually show me the recipe. But they are quite expensive to build. So yeah, I don't know if that's viable. Uh, we've got mortars. I don't think we need the drilling. We're okay here. I think I might be tempted to get the precision rifling and uh, auto cannon turrets. Let's go precision rifling. Right now, I have to say, these chain shotguns, pretty funky, pretty cool, great damage. But um, if we're going to do much more, we are going to want um, 
uh, we are going to want assault rifles for more range. Yeah, they're a little bit more expensive, but the, the range really does pay off. We could move our this structure, we could move it back to here and probably just be in a much better situation overall defensively. I wonder if I should build some more outer walls here. I don't have a ton of limestone. I have a fair amount of marble. I did change the uh, artwork over here. Paula, what's your actual art skill? Did I do that too early? Hey, you got a 14, so you're quite good at art. I changed this bill here um, so that, well, first of all, I only queued up 10 instead of 20 just to manage things a bit, um, but it's actually set to just marble blocks. I suppose what I'll do is I'll say, listen, only people with at least 10 skill can do the marble blocks job. And then what I could do is I could put a secondary bill in here for other materials. It doesn't matter because only Paolo is on arting. Um, and yeah, he doesn't, he's not spamming out the cooking as much anymore. So we'll get some fancy statues. These urns here, it's only f five or eight beauty. Sorry. They're really not that impressive. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I guess I should still wait until a caravan shows up because their wealth is halved while they're installed. They're not that valuable anyway. Yeah, you know what? I'll just queue these to be installed now. They really don't do that much for us. Uh, but yeah, if we can get some fancy art, that's going to be fantastic. What I think I might do is I'm going to make a little zone um, right next to this little art bench. Let's do something like that. Storage. Clear. I'm going to say critical priority for sculptures. If I can spell it right. So sculptures, including unfinished sculptures. There we go. Okay, art is only those. Yeah, with no mods, I guess that's it. So unfinished sculptures and crafted sculptures will show up here. It's nice to do the unfinished ones nearby, so they don't have to. They don't keep hauling it in and out of the uh, stockpile here. Oh, we did get a start. Oh, this good. Two hundred and seventy beauty. Yeah, baby. Uh, we'll get that installed. Um, you know what? I'm gonna get installed in the workshop room immediately. People spend a lot of time in here. Here, right here, nice and centered. Yeah, that's gonna be lovely. Bob the Builder, what are you doing? You're currently resting. Tell you what, before you go to bed, just go ahead and install this sculpture here. Oh, yeah, that's going to be wonderful. Much nicer room. Very impressive. People should get good thoughts from that. Yeah. So, yeah, like hundreds of beauty. Like these these, these urns. Yeah, I don't know. We'll sell them for a little bit of money. I definitely won't make it as a priority, like necessarily haul the urns back going forward. Steel flak helmet is ready to go right now. I think everyone's wearing flak helmets. Is that a simple but no, that's a flak helmet. Ah, I think everyone's got a flak helmet. Groovy. Excellent. They're very good. And yeah, I think they needed components, but yeah, we've got the uh, fabrication bench there. Wow, do we not have any power right now at all? No wind, no sunlight. Okay. I mean, it's pretty unusual. There we go. We're already better. And yeah, it doesn't take much. Like, yeah, that was actually really weird that we ran out of power. Maybe we need more batteries, but I think it's pretty unlikely that like everything fails simultaneous because now we have like massive over, well, not massive overkill. Okay, Matt, the Ender pack. I think we were also planning on getting geothermal hooked up. Oh yeah, we already got the project started, good. Manhunter pack, what are we looking at? Hairs, okay. Wabbits, they're not too bad. It's a question of numbers. That's a lot of wabbits. Now, they will go after turrets. So even if I close this door, they'll still come here and engage the turrets. I think we're going to go out and meet them. Oh, wait, Honey's a pacifist, right? Where the hell were you? Percy. Do it. Come in through the back here, please. And then make your way forward. A little bit safer. There's a bunch of deer out there. Well, we definitely don't need to hunt. Our food situation's ridiculous right now. Which is good. I like ridiculous. Okay, here come the wabbits. And the chain shotguns will do a great job at obliterating this. These things have no armor. I mean, these traps will kill a bunch as well. These things have no armor. So chain shotguns, even though they're a little lower on penetration than some of the others, uh, will do huge amounts of damage to them. I'm going to close in a little bit. Let me see if I can just kite a little bit backwards with these guys. Yeah. Worst, the biggest threat was probably shooting the friends. All right. Vort took a scratch. Oh, just a bruise. Not even a scratch. Excellent. Okay. What I should be doing with my people... We have herbal medicine, right? I mean, we should have plenty of it. Uh, we've got some here. Uh, that's the wrong category. 
Okay, we do have some more. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, we do have some in the hospital. Decaying a little bit or rotting over time. That's fine. Um, to avoid using better medicine, what I should maybe do is just limit everyone. Oh, Honey's on a run. Where's she running from? Oh, no, she's not running. She's just got the, yeah, the flea when something happens thing. All right. Um, what I should maybe do is restrict everyone to just using herbal medicines right now. So that when you've got a bruise or a small scratch, you won't use anything better. And we can save up the better meds. Uh, the problem is when someone gets a real injury, I'm going to have to remember to change that, which is a little bit tricksy. But yeah, we're quite low on regular medicine, so I'm going to want to save this for a real injury or most likely a sickness, like a random disease, like the plague or something that hits us. It might be important to on, to start using that. So by default, your pawns will use the best available medicine for treating people, no matter what the injury is. Uh, or the, no, the best allowed medicine, I should say. So by putting it on strictly herbals, we'll only use that. So it takes a little bit of micromanagement. There's a mod called Pharmacist that... Uh, what you can do with that is you can set all your pawns to say um, the best quality medicine, but the pharmacist mod will try to use appropriate medicine for the wound. So if someone's just got a bruise, even though they're allowed to use Glitter World medicine, they'll just use some herbal medicine. Or maybe they won't use any medicine at all. It'll just be like a treatment without meds, which is certainly an option. Okay, yeah, power is definitely a thing that we're hoping to build up on. Fob, to your builder. Okay, you're hauling things to the walls. That's fine. Although, I suppose I could have had you work on the cables up. I could have had you work on this first. We should have enough steel. There should be enough on the map, I think. Um, I was about to check. I was about to check something here. Nope. No idea. So if I told you here... Yeah, okay. So if we didn't have enough material... So there's not enough material stored in our stockpile. We don't have 340 steel. But there's some on the map. If there wasn't enough on the map here, it would tell us there's not enough. And then I would know... I would have to issue some commands for some more mining. But Fob will go to work on that at some point. After resting some more. You know, I know it's only squares. And there's some maybe less efficient spots, but I, I really do kind of like our base here. A few items to trade. It's not a proper trade caravan, but we might see what we can do anyway. Oh, there's a bunch of ambrosia out here. So the harvesting... See, see this trick here? Did start to harvest some of this ambrosia. Really, really handy. <sighs> We might. Let's let's have everyone do a haul thing here. There's a bunch of stuff all over the place. Oh, some of this ambrosia is starting to be picked up. Let's do a bulk haul, clean some things up. My people are still too busy, so they're not getting around to hauling very often. You're making it. Oh, because you you don't haul. That's part of the, part of it too. Is not everyone can haul, so there's not that many people who are getting to. Uh, like a, a, a low workload where they're like, oh, I guess I'll just haul that. Hauling hairs. Yeah, some of these are fresh. That's okay. Oh, are they leaving already? They didn't even come into my base. All right. Well, I guess we're not trading with you because I'm not sure I can catch you. I might have been able to a second ago. We'll see. I guess with the power low, I could have gone <laughs> I reinstall a switch, but I am I am doing two routes for the power over here. So yeah, no. Well, I just won't, won't worry about switching the, uh, the turrets on and off. I just uh, want this to happen soon. You know what? Tell you what. Fob, your building's pretty important. Yeah, you can finish this hull, but then you can go back to normal stuff. Uh, there appears to be some dead bodies we could probably allow here. A dead gazelle probably got just attacked by a wolf or something. But there's still going to be some meat on there. Now, they're building the wall first. I could have if I, I could have prioritized you doing this. Oh, I should have gotten someone else to cut these plants to save this a little bit of time oh well um which might not have been a bad idea because that way we get the power up before all the walls are enclosed like we want to protect this generator discourage people from randomly going after it but yeah, and i should have gotten the proper person to chop down this tree but there we go it eventually happened did i flag this for no roof yes okay good do not build a roof over this because then it'll overheat and everything will catch on fire we may as well uh, chop down that tree though just get it out of there and sometimes what I like to do for these is I do like to put a little bit of a stone flooring or uh, some some sort of fireproof flooring around here just to stop the spread. Although our wall itself is fireproof, so I don't think I'm too worried. The door isn't, but there's not a real long or a big, like, there's not a lot of chance that fire will spread into that. Ooh, caravan. What do you want? You want three flak pants. 
Glitter World Medicine's nice. Artistic Skill Trainer. I don't think it'll do much for us because our skill level's pretty high. Pulsar. Advanced Components are nice. But, I mean, we're not getting that much extra value. 7.5 day trip. Yeah, I don't think that's worth it. Yeah, we do want to get the power up, though. Bob, having a little relaxation. Oh, I did see some people, what they do is they um, actually set a relaxation schedule in the morning as well. Which is interesting to consider. Again, it, it, people will only do the relaxation until they're full anyway, and then they'll go and do something else. So it's it's not like it tanks that much more time. Although I don't really want people smoking smoke leaf first thing in the morning and then going to work. If we didn't have the drugs kicking around, or if we forbidden smoke leaf, then it would be something to consider. Okay, we really need this up and running here. Well, hopefully Fob can finish. Another Manhunter pack! Yorkshire Terriers! Okay. It's another big group. I don't think our traps have all been rebuilt. No. That is actually a little bit more scary. I think I will just go and form up the line here, though. I mean, individual Yorkshire Terriers aren't dangerous. There's going to be a lot of them. They're definitely going to close to melee. Like, they're squishy in the, in, in the way that, like, yeah, dealing with those traps is easy. Oh, I have a lot of mining designated here. Let me trim that back. I really have to be a little bit better. I guess I guess it's because, like, for some people, the mining was a low-tier busy work. But Okay. Here they come. Yeah, they're going to be very squishy. But, yeah, if they close in, it's going to be annoying. Yeah, we can't actually shoot them until they're out of this little area. This might be a little further than I would want. It'd be fine with a heavy SMG, because we'd be able to shoot people back here. Okay. They split up. I don't know where the rest of the pack went. So they did split up a little bit. Oh, shit. They're attacking my own Yorkie over here. And might follow through this door. Close the door, close the door, close the door, close the door. Kiwi! Thank you. Okay. They're going to bash that a little bit. Hoping they can't get through. Okay, some of them are still coming here. Okay, good. They did stop. We could reinforce this door. I'm wondering if I should change... You know, there's no reason for our puppy to wander around the map. So let's make a... Let's make a new zone. Well, we've already got Area 1. I guess we can still use Area 1. I should probably rename it. But this is going to be, like safe in terms of it is within our walls. And we might do lots of different things. I should probably leave Honey within our walls, because she doesn't have weapons, she can't fight. One thing we could do is we can actually limit everyone to here. And one of the things with these zones, like if we say they're only allowed in this zone, if you designate something like this, they will travel from this zone to this zone to complete the job. So... Um, that is a way that you can open things up. Of course, we'd also want to allow this area so that construction repair could happen over here. And at this point, what we're really doing is I'm almost designated just the home zone, right? Yes, it's inside the walls, but it's kind of the home zone. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to make this like the explicitly safe area, this, this area here. So, for example, if we seal this door because we don't want to deal with the Manhunter pack outside then that's what this zone is. It's no going outside whatsoever zone. And I'm just going to apply that to Honey. Uh, schedule. So Honey over here is going to get that. Let me rename this area. Inside walls. There we are. And I'm going to assign this to Kiwi. Don't go, don't go wander outside. It's not like you can help with hauling or anything. So let's not do that. A little bit of overkill in that first Yorkie. Didn't hit the second one. But yeah, at least they're all coming over here now. And I'm happy they split up because it's making the numbers much more manageable. And they're actually spread out this way as well, which is helpful. When they come, you see these two, there was a couple of Yorkies that were stacked on top of another. When they get within a certain range of a hostile, so a turret or another pawn, they de-stack. There's a few tricks you can do. You can put like a non-active turret, one that's not plugged in, sort of over here and kind of behind walls. So it won't draw attack because it's inactive and everything, but it will force them to de-stack and it can 
uh, make them spread out a little bit more as they come through here. And it might be something worth looking into, especially as this route gets a little bit longer and maybe further away from these turrets. But as is, we're okay. That might be the last one. Hopefully it is. I'm going to, just in case, do a unforbid everything. Oh, we got a war merchant. Well, that's quite good. I guess if we want honey, honey's not actually going to be able to talk to these people right now outside of travel areas because of her restrictions. That's kind of funny. We got an eclipse, so our solar panel is not going to work, which is a little annoying. So, yeah, with these caravans. Yeah, see, they're just setting up over here. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll, well, we, at the very least for now, we can unrestrict honey. I think it's possible the caravans always end up in your home zone. I'm actually not sure, because it doesn't look to me like, yeah, they're not parked in the home zone right now. So, even if we restricted honey to home, she wouldn't be able to talk to them as is. Hmm. Okay, what do we want here? We don't want to buy cougars and timber wolves. They have a high wildness, so they're hard to tame. They can be used as battle animals, but I, that's just not what I'm interested in this, this particular run. If they had components for sale, I would buy them because, I mean, we can make our own, yes, but it's time consuming. It takes a lot of material. Uh, I'm going to sell all these smoke beef joints. Well, by all, I mean 10. We're going to sell this ambrosia as well. And we're going to sell a bunch of weapons that are just cluttering things up right now. The Nier Launcher is cool, but I personally don't tend to use them just because things tend to go really badly for me when I do. I'll sell the bolt action rifles, although they do have nice range. I'll just keep the extra chain shotgun. That's okay. We're in Monotovs. Get rid of some of this clothing. Okay. They don't have enough money to cover all this. Do they have anything I want to buy? The answer appears to be no. Well, that's a bit annoying. I, I wish I could buy some more reinforced barrels. You know what? I'll keep the smoke leaf joints. Yeah, oh, okay. So the hang on. Maybe I'll keep the ambrosia for now because it at least stacks. Get rid of these which just occupy space. You can see why it's nice to harvest ambrosia. And... There we go. So we're going to take all their silver. We have lots of silver. It would be nice if they had something more useful for us to buy. I didn't notice anything, though. We're getting a little bit more meat, a little bit more leather from the, the Yorkies here. Not a huge amount from that, but it's something. And hey, we do have the butcher forever. So Paolo, who's our cook artist. Oh, it's currently on haul number one. Sure. If I just uh force you to butcher, start to take care of some of these numbers for me. Thanks. Cheers. Still have the eclipse, and there's no wind right now. Yeah, I need that geothermal to come up. Fob, can you like I don't wanna force you. You know what? You're in okay shape right now. Go, go finish this. Gotta bring eight components over, some steel and components. Please and thank you. Clothes. We're going to keep ignoring that. We still have in our tailor's outfit. I don't like this lack of power here. In our tailor station over here. I do still have the job for Parkas, but it's on suspend. And I'm okay with that. I don't think we really need it. Yeah, our stockpile is basically full here. This little area at the top, if you remember, is my high priority place for weapons. At some point, someone will bring the chain shotgun over there. I'm going to try to avoid making another stockpile for as long as possible. I mean, we have the wood one, or the food one as well. But yeah, if we can hold off on that, that'll be nice. Major break wrist. Paolo, why so upset? Tired, hungry. Oh, yeah, I did force the butchering on you, so you're doing that at, like, max priority. So I'm going to cancel you. No, someone's got fibrous mechanites. Fob and Paolo, that's no good. Ugh. That's really annoying. So fibrous machinites, unlike a lot of other diseases, don't have like a visible progression or immunity over here. They do have it internally. They have this like this tick that eventually the fibrous machinites will go away. It will go away faster with treatment. It'll go faster, go away faster if you spend time in bed. I don't know if we can afford to have people spend like a million years in bed, unfortunately. Now the fibrous machinites aren't life-threatening, so I'm not going to 
Um, I'm not going to increase the medicine available. Better medicine and better treatment would lead to um, a shorter duration for it, but yeah. Okay, after precision rifling is done, I'm definitely going to research hospital beds so we can use those. And then, yeah, these beds will be moved over into the other rooms for things. You know what? I can move one of you over here now. And the idea is this might be a little bit of a prisoner room. It's not going to be a very happy room, though. Um, it is easier to recruit people if they are happy. If they're in a good mood, if they have a good relationship with uh, their warden, they are going to join with more gusto. Fabricating over here, making some components, because we, of course, used some for this, which is now up and running. It is connected to the grid, so we got ourselves lots of juice now. We shouldn't get any more brownouts. Okay, precision, precision rifling is done. Let's get hospitals. We'll get a vitals monitor as well. So, our machining table over here. I think we are going to... I don't necessarily need to start making assault rifles immediately, but I think I will. I think I'm also going to add a job for EMP grenades. It would be nice to have, if we get a mechanoid thing, we might have a couple people carry EMP grenades. For the assault rifle, I think I will want to have everyone move over to that. Let me make a couple of grenade right, or EMP grenades first. Chain shotguns are still doing pretty good for us now. I'll add a job for a couple of assault rifles. We can give them to people with best shooting and our hunters in particular so they take advantage of the range. Maybe I won't overload our construction on that. You know, we've got plenty of steel left on the map, which is great, but mine the steel takes time, converting the components takes time, and then crafting the assault rifles take time. So we may want to limit some of those things just a tiny bit. Still have some people on super high priority haul. And yet there's still tons of things just lying around everywhere. Wow. Kind of amazing to me just how much garbage we have. Darcy doing some cleaning. Right, you can't haul, but you do clean. And then you handle the animals. We're starting to maybe get a little bit high up here on our animals. Uh, we may want to go and trim down some of these things. So, do we have auto slaughter rules set up? We do to limit how many cows we can have in total. You can see here females. We have it set to five, but it ignores the pregnant ones. So it'll only slaughter, start slaughtering females if we have five non-pregnant females. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is drop this number down a little bit. Because I think we're maybe having a bit of a hard time keeping this going. So I'm going to drop it to three. but And not designate these. So three non-pregnant females will be the limit. I think we're going to get rid of the mufflows. They take time to shear. We don't really... Because we've got the cloth industry. I don't think we really need muffalo wool. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that. The dromedaries, we definitely want some around right now. Um, they're going to be great for our hauling. I'm going to set males to two and females, unpregnant females, to three over there. Similar rules to the cows. Um, we might end up, like, actually at some point deciding to geld um, the males of uh, the dromedaries just to limit their number. We want some around for, you know, rideables and pack animals, but we only need so many of them. We're not keeping the dromedaries around necessarily as a food crop. But yeah, we'll do that. I mean, the nu the nutrition consumption was rising up here. Um, so getting rid of the mufflows is going to help with that. But we may have to do some extra restrictions of some other things. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I guess, I mean, even if I, I could trim the number of cows down even more than that. Because we are going to get a steady supply from some... Like, all we needed is, like, a critical mass to, you know have some production but we clearly have a lot going on here i probably could trim this down more you know what i think i'm gonna do this for all of that because with the pregnancies i think we do end up keeping a fair number around yeah i think i'm okay with this honey is working on emp grenades yeah it'll be nice to have a couple i'm just gonna make sure that emp grenades do get stored here uh Oh, there it is. EMP grenades. Excellent. Yep. Good. 
Now, we don't want our people normally carrying them around, because EMP grenades don't do anything in normal combat, but they stun mechanoids, and if we get some mechanoids, it's gonna, we're going to feel very... It's going to feel very important that we've got some EMPs around to deal with that. We can give people with, like, lower shooting skills the EMPs. Um, I think shooting skill does affect the accuracy of landing your grenades in a appropriate area, but I don't think... But the thing is, an inaccurate throw is often fine. We got an exotic goods trader in space. This is usually good news. So actually, okay. You can see we have lots of female... I'm going to just sell a couple over here. Yeah. And I'm going to sell one of my bulls as well. Just for some cash, because why not? Space traders do tend to have a lot more money, which is nice to see. I'm going to buy Neutromi. Now, that's, that's a lot. I'm going to buy 100 units of Neutromine, which is still a lot, but this is going to help us make Panoxicillin, and I think we need Neutromine as well for our actual medical production, which is nice. I'd like to buy all your components and all your advanced components if possible. We'll see if we can make that work. I'm going to sell you the Smoke Leaf, the Ambrosia. Um, I wouldn't mind buying the Plasteel either, because we can use this to craft other things. Uh, we actually do have a lot. Did we, we have exactly 4,000 silver? That's kind of strange, but I'll take it. Um, we do need some gold for crafting, but I don't know if we need this much. And there's still some gold we can mine. I might sell all the gold. So this will take all of our money, all of our gold and silver. But we end up with a bunch of Plasteel, which is going to be great for crafting some high-tech stuff. All their components and all their advanced components. And some Neutromine as well. Oh, I'm very pleased with this. These skill trainers are nice. Ooh, Architect Leg. I mean, we don't have anyone that really needs a Doomsday Rocket Launcher. They have some cool stuff, but I think I'm very happy with this trade here. Very happy. Oh, a party. That's going to be good for increasing mood. <laughs> we lose some uh, productivity, but it is great for mood. Yeah, still some hauling. I guess I won't do it on Apollo because some things do need to be carved up here. But yeah, if LeBray and Berg want to do some hauling right now, that's actually not a bad thing. Yeah, we definitely definitely want to catch up on some of this stuff. Mm -mm. Oh, some meat is being stockpiled over here. Yeah, we have so much meat right now. Um, maybe, you know, butchering these things now doesn't make sense because we were so full on this. On the other hand, um, we were hitting a nutrition limit over here, so I think... I think doing the butchering was okay. Now we're below because we sold. Now, I, I I wish we'd sold things before butchering, but the trader came just a little too late for us, unfortunately. I could make a bunch more stuff into kibble. Because it does stack fairly well, but no. Kibble's mostly for trips. Should I just... Maybe I should just set a caravan up. I do have a lot of cloth. I could make some clothing just to sell. But I think I'm okay with mostly just having pulled back on the crafting. In fact, I might trim back this cotton plant thing as well. What I'm gonna, You know what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to turn off the sewing. Because I don't want to shrink this. Or unless I shrink it and then split it. I'm just going to turn off sewing for now. The next harvest, I'll, I'll shrink this down. And yeah, I've already turned off the sewing on this zone over here. So we're going to get a bunch more cotton coming in. But we're going to slow that way down. Same thing here with this food. It's going to get slowed way down. Alright, we're going to go and put a cut in here. Things are still going pretty swell. We're going to get a little bit stronger. In theory, our wealth will have gone down with the trade. Yep. Because we, we don't get very good value out of it. And yet, maybe maybe there's going to be more world caravanning something that we could do. Or some sales. Slash strategic purposes. Oh yeah, these guys are hostile. Too bad, because it's a good trading partner. We'll see if we might be able to improve things a little bit more. But yeah, this whole faction, they are naturally hostile, which means they'll keep decaying in that direction. Um, they're not, they're not guaranteed hostile, though, right? Some things are, I think we talked about that, like the, um, this pirate crew, these pink skull crossbones, they're permanent hostile, and the red mountains over here, permanent hostile, nothing we can do about these, and the blue ones, the Andonesia, they will trend towards hostile, but we might be able to continuously give them gifts. I can, uh, send a caravan over here and give them stuff. I wonder if, maybe I should consider that, but that'll have to wait until next time. Folks, thanks a lot for watching, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.